open field. First move, computer two. Draw card. Begin duel. Computer two, mana charge. Mana release. Summon. Let's Computer One demands justice and a rematch. Computer Getting absolutely one. thwarted last week by a Skyndar Fire God. It demands retribution. And it brings that retribution in the form of. <gasps> a white cubic? <laughs> okay. Been a while since I've seen a cubic. Computer Two. Draw card. Although it's on the correct element for its own scandal, I god. Computer 2, on the other hand. There's our foot soldiers Seven. and some Elven Berserk Maidens. Is he going to go for the kill? He is. Worst comes to the worst. He's got a 5 1 for 2 cost. So. Can you kill it with it having dodge? Nope. And just casually gets back up its cube and sits down as if to say, screw you! Computer one. Draw card. Mana charge. And the cubic is being used. What is coming in the cubic's place? Skionda Fire God! <laughs> He's not going to get to attack, though, because he's been summoned through. That means... So, not quite as good of an entrance as last time, but... He wouldn't have been able to kill anything anyway. He'd have took him down to one health, but... Sorry, Computer 2 scum if I got last week was... Far better. It just came out and wiped you clean. <laughs> Unlocked. Although turn three Skandar Vargon is still scary as hell. But it does cost five mana to actually activate him now. So it's. Mana charge. It's a big mana sink. Nah, it'd be unlikely he does anything. Summon. Meanwhile, twin goblins came out and did some damage to the soldiers. Who are now going to get Attack. attacked by a Venoin assassin? How dare you. Ah! Now the goblins are going to counterattack both! So they hit in both directions at once. Venuin Assassin, of course, did not get a bonus to its attack when it hit the rear of the goblins because they don't have a blind spot. Mana release. Summon. Which in Elven Artrus gonna attack the attack. Uh, Elven Berserker Maidens. Not for a lot. But they're going to attack them nonetheless. And spin them 180 degrees. Computer two. Draw card. Putting your back to a fire Mana god charge. is never a good thing, except this fire god won't do Mana jack. Release. So, it's fine. <laughs> Computer two Summon. looking to take out the goblins. I mean, why wouldn't it? The one health set of goblins that can't do jack. Attack. And that barbecues those. Mana charge. Three mana for computer one. Check for computer two. Check. Computer one. 
Robot. You gotta kill something. You have it on a platter Mana there. Mana release. Okay. Retribution. Is at hand. Smack. They'll be serving nobody from now on. Three of them are, de are dead. He's triggered the passive ability of the Berserker Maidens by taking them down to one health. They gain two damage and dodge. But... Five mana to get three creatures off the board in one turn. That's actually not bad. And there was me thinking he'd not use it, this game. Computer two, draw card. And downside, he's given Computer Mana two charge. quite a bit of mana now. Mana release. <coughs> Summon. Hmm. Excuse me. <coughs> As our foot soldier, what say you? Unlock. You say unlock. I say, good job. Computer one, draw card. Now then, you're blowing all your mana on mana release. the god. This is probably Summon. Berserker Maidens. Nope, it's goblins. So he knows he's on the back foot now. It's probably just looking to be a case of let's get as many tanky creatures out as we can and just try and declare victory. But Summon. His elven artress are weak to tanks. Everything's weak to tanks, but her especially. He's only on two. And in a way, this is Computer 2's version of, here's my tanky creature. What's better than a tanky creature than a literal tank? Mana charge. <coughs> Computer 1, draw card. Computer 1 wants Mana to charge. try and take out the maidens, Mana if it can. Magic creature Summon. would do it doesn't have one, so it's going to go for just a casual one damage onto these Bezar foot soldiers who are just going to deal it back. Fortress to buff. Those and make them even stronger. Magic will still kill them. Draw card. Mana charge. But it's now in check. You need to kill something. It's not looking very likely because what's available to you is very expensive. That is a say hole in fortress discarded. For a palmatic holy feast. <coughs> Which gives DOS mana. What are you going to do with it? Mana release. Oh god, we're going again! Attack. Round and round it goes. Where we stop, nobody knows. This one shall be Bang! <laughs> All shall tremble you shall serve me before the might of the fire god. Mana charge. Mana there charge. goes the berserker maidens and there goes the foot soldiers. 
and the Soul and Fortress is down to one. And the tank's down to two. Wow. Great use of the god this turn. Mana charge. Ah. Oh. I love it. Guiling fog. Someone's been turned. Which way are they facing? Mana release. They're facing upwards. Okay. Summon. So rear facing this face. Stone Winged Dwarf summons into that space and it's going to get a cheeky two damage. Which is going to kill them. Lovely. You are in the eyesight and eyeline Computer one. of the god. He will judge Mana thee. Mana release. <laughs> Summon. There's our foot soldiers are going to come out and just face the center. They're just okay. there to be there. Oh, they're actually going to kill the fortress. I forgot the fortress was one health. Even though I literally said it like 40 seconds ago, I'm aware. Computer 1 regains the lead. Computer 2, draw card. Mana charge. Mana release. Attack. Stonewing Dwarf attacks the... There's our foot soldiers, taking them down to one. One cost on two wood. Here's the archers, just to hold the space. 4-1 for one, that's really nice actually. You can't argue with that. Very good value. Summon. Right, so an ice guard gonna come out of computer one. Check. Facing to the left. Check for computer Mana one. Charge. Computer two needs to kill something! And Mana it has release. it on a silver platter in Attack. the form of two cards. These have one health. And the boys in the centre have one health. Mana charge. It's got that clear, so... Needs to now summon and kill those, and then it's got Mana a very release. nice lead. Which it will. Right on an ice guard. Indeed it is, on its actual element this time, plus two health. And it gets to kill the ones in the okay. centre. Excellent. Very good, very good, very good. Computer Mana 1 backed into a corner. He's got a magical 5 mana. Will it be third times the charm? Is retribution in the eye of the gods? Mana charge. Mana release. Yes! Attack. All shall die. This one shall be everlasting. <laughs> I've never seen a skill now fire god go three times in a match. This is amazing. I'm loving it. You shall serve me from now on. Ah, oh, I take it back. This god is far better than the one last week. He's got so many more kills. Just killed three there, there goes the tank, there goes the Triton and Ice Guard, and there goes the Stonewing Dwarf. And the archers are taken down to one health. Oh my god, and we're back to this. Twenty turns in and the lock goes back on. Mana release. 
Will this game ever end? Yes, someone's so, going to run out of cards eventually. <laughs> God, I love that card. All of the God cards are amazing. Although it has to be said that Fire God holds a special place in my heart, and probably a lot of people's hearts. It's the very first ultra rare you get. It's... It, I mean, I say it's ultra rare, it's in the start set, so everyone gets it, but... Ah. Oh. It's beautiful. Mana charge. Oh god, he has a lot of mana. mana release. Ah, it's happening! Summon. <laughs> Skionda, fire god. More gods, I say! He's not going to kill anything. How dare you? He's only dealing damage, but... Oh, this is brilliant. Unlocked. Two great titans. Computer one. Draw card. Skiondar from... Skiondar God from last week heard me saying that this one was better. He has come to... Prove himself. <laughs> so basically we've now got a case of either AI gets five mana. Shenanigans are going to be enacted. <laughs> Check. Computer two. Oh, actually, this is really bad for computer two. Computer two, you need to do something. Oh, hello. Beguiling fog, you're rotating a target creature. That's usually a sign of very much desperation. Mana release. Actually, no, no, it's not bad. It was probably an Elm Berserker Maiden, probably. Why have you put it there? Draw card. Oh, because it can't be counterattacked. I was thinking, okay. why don't you just put it on the water space and just kill it? But, the goblins would have been able to attack a blind spot, so... Probably for the best. You win. They take out the giant axe dwarves keeping Computer 2 in the game. For how long? Mana charge. And the protect, uh, protection Computer bonus one. for Stonewing Dwarf Four. vanishes because the giant axe dwarf has gone. Mana charge. It's lost Mother its release. buddy. Oh god! Oh god, I thought we were activating a god then. <laughs> Fishes of Goalie, we're gonna flip the elemental field underneath the Skandar Fire God at the top. From Fire to Biolith. Which Mother kills the Skandar Fire God? It's the only Mana element release. that can kill a Skandar Fire God, so he's just wiped out. Summon. A nine cost creature. A two. Attack. Bravo. And then just to rub it in. Here's a plebby one damage that's gonna kill your ice guy. Mana charge. Check. Computer 2. Draw card. Computer Mana 2's charge. got nothing. Mana release. But... Oh, I'm, I shouldn't have said nothing. Summon. I should not have said nothing. I said that last time. Last week. And then... Okay. Titans appeared. Computer 2 is well and truly not out of this game yet. Mana charge. Mana charge. Oof. 
We've got 12 cards in each player's deck. At the current moment, if we went down to the wire, computer 2 would win. Because computer 1's going to run out of cards first. So it's got to win in the next 11 cards. Stand a chance. And after all the work that that god's done, it'll be a real shame if computer 1 loses. <laughs> and computer 2 is not making it easy for him. Turn 26 and the computer bloody lock comes off again. Mana charge. Ah, that's some Mana dead release. bugs. Yeah. I'd immediately kill them. And text dwarf! Greetings. Again. Attack. Measly one damage. Well, they're gonna die. But at least they got one damage off as well, so it's not bad. One cost, one health, one damage. And it dealt one damage, so... Not bad. You get that mana back straight away, anyway. I'm gonna push him up to seven. Don't Mana piss charge. the god off. Mana release. Attack. Stormwing Dwarf is just gonna tickle the ankles of Taurus Monolith. All Mana release. Free cost. Summon. Anyone assassin? Attack. Sweet dreams. And an assassin taking the dwarves down to one. Draw card. Mana charge. Mana release. Summon. Big Goblin is going to attack the rear of Venowin Assassin, giving a bonus damage. Attack. More importantly, Computer 1 next turn will go into check. Computer 1, draw card. If it was me, I'd summon in this bottom square and kill dwarves. Attack. Okay. If he's doing this, then I plan on... Then I suspect he's planning on killing the dwarves and then summoning on the space that the dwarves are on. Mana charge. Mana release. He's not. Why? Summon. Oh, because they can't kill the... Yeah, but now you've left yourself open to be potentially tanked. Computer two. Draw card. Which Mana computer charge. two would have the mana for? Mana release. Attack. We attack the rear of the... Venowin assassin again. <laughs> oh, this game is a roller coaster. Mana release. Two cost in center square. Summon. Here comes the goblins. Facing left and right. They're going to take out the assassin, deal Attack. one damage to the uh, Stonewing Dwarf. So I do believe Stonewing Dwarf will get to counter. Yes, it will. Taking them down to two. How dare you! How dare you indeed! Heresy. Mana charge. 
Computer 2 is still in this gate. Let's bear in mind, Computer 2 has had Computer two to three creatures wiped power. out in two separate points Mana by the god. And Mana it's release. still making it this close. Attack. It's really not messing around. It's done well, Computer 2, regardless of what happens. It's clawed its way back. There's still a lot of mana in Computer 1's hand. There's still the potential for a god if it's needed. Elfi Spitter into this bottom corner. It's just going to be a one... On Helfer, but it's a case of you kill me or I win. On turn 33. Mana release. Mana release. Rotating the goblins and attacking. It's attacking for one damage on a four health creature and. I can't see any other way that it's going to take any more damage, so I don't see the point Mana in that, release. but it's probably just desperate. Summon. Elven Berserker Maiden, they're going to summon and kill the attack. Flame Spitters. The Flame Spitters are going to get to attack first, though. <laughs> And then the Berserker Maidens will finish them off. Just oh, two stays in the game. And in fact, they're in check. And Computer 1 has over 5 mana. Computer 1, draw card. Can we have 4? Mana charge. God attacks. Mana release. Retribution continues! <laughs> oh my god. So Skilda, the Fire God usually costs 9 to Mana summon. George. This was brought Mana in George. by a cubic. So technically it costs one to summon it. He's then activated it three times now. Put 15 mana into this thing. I've not been keeping tracking of how many summon. kills he's got, but I bet it's got to be a good eight to nine kills. 15 mana for eight to nine kills. That's not Draw bad. Mana. Attack. Ah. <sighs> And he's playing a bit of a suicide play here, because he's playing some Triton Ice Guards into... Mana Charge. Uh, 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 I've forgotten its name. Yeah, that thing that just died. Big punchy boy. He died! <laughs> Draw card. Mana Charge. Mana Release. Goblins are going to rotate Mana and release. take them out. Attack. This is going to come down to someone running out of cards. I really do feel sorry for Computer 2. Lost so many cards, that fucking god. Mana release. It deserves to have stayed alive, but... Summon. Alas. It hasn't. And an assassin. Attack the rear of the dwarf. And take him out. No bonus damage because it doesn't have a blind spot, but still. Mana charge. It hits for two anyway. Computer one. Two creatures all. Advantage computer Mana one. Charge. Mana release. Let's also remember that if we do go down to the wire and summon, uh, someone does run out of cards, computer one will run out of cards first at the current rate. 
But Computer 2 can still win this despite everything that's happened. Elven Berserker Maiden summoned onto the opposite element, triggers their passive ability. Okay. Extra 2 damage and dodge. They're going to take out Twin Goblins. They do leave themselves open with one mana. Uh, one health, sorry, but. Again, it's dodge. Mana charge. And if you mess it up, they're going to hit you back for three, so. Computer two. Draw card. It is a bit risky to attack him. Mana charge. Mana release. One cost. Summon. There's the cubic for computer two. With its one dodge. Computer one. Draw card. The question is what would it bring out? Mana charge. If it survives. Mana release. Which we're gonna be testing that right now. Summon. If it brings something out, it can't attack. Attack. So Computer 2 needs to summon something else. This is it. But the cubic died, so that... That, well, doesn't matter anymore, does it? Mana charge. Check, Check for Computer, computer 1 two. again. Draw computer card. 2, you need to kill. Come on to the water space. No! Okay, that's an expensive cost. Triceptor Behemoth. Oh boy. It dares attack a god. Loses two attack because it's attacking two targets, but it still hits for three each. First bit of damage we've seen to the god all game. Mana charge. And it kills the Verzar foot soldiers. Computer That's the first one. bit of damage Control done to the card. god in 40 turns. Mana charge. Oof. Beguiling fog. Well, taste target creature into any direction you wish. I'm gonna face the behemoth off, off the board. Yeah, Computer 1 is in a race against time now. It's got to finish the game before it loots, draws the next three cards. Taurus Monolith is going to try and make short work of this behemoth. Attack. I believe it's going to deal four damage. Beautiful. Exactly what it needed. Computer 2 is once again in a situation of you have to kill or game over. If it summons a magic creature, it can kill the Berserker Maidens. Even, other than that, it needs to deal 3 damage, which is quite difficult with 3 mana. I think we've reached the end, folks. We have. Attack. Again, Computer 2, to get hit three separate occasions by a Fire God and lose multiple creatures each time, and then still last for 40 plus turns. Computer one. It's done well. Mana charge. It's done very, very well. Ah, oh, Computer 1 couldn't summon anything! Mana charge. He's not dead yet! Mana release. Oh my god, can you? Summon. Elfire Spitter is still not going to be able to kill anything. Attack. Oh, it is! Shit, I forgot. Bonus damage. Bonus damage hitting the rear of the target. Computer 2 can do this. Come on. Computer one's gonna run out of Mana run out charge. of cards. <laughs> Computer one, draw card. Mana charge. Mana release. 
Oh, big expensive boys coming out. Summon. Alice Battle Chariot. Attack. Oh, that's goodbye to these girls. Now then. Computer 1 has one card left. If it summons it and puts it onto the field, it wins. Has one card left to draw, sorry. If it can get one more creature on the board, with these four surviving, it wins. If it can't, Computer 2 is going to win. Mana release. Two cost onto the god. Vicious of Goalie is going to flip the elemental field. It's not going to matter a huge amount, I don't think. But I think that the god can only die if it's on Biolith. Instantly die, sorry. Going to lose four health. Because it's now on water instead of fire. But it's still alive with 4-3. And that's all it had. Computer 1. Mana Just draw. summon something and you win. Mana release. Ah, oh, Computer 2 was so close. Summon. Computer 2 had to sub killed something that turn. Attack. Computer 1 would have lost the following turn. It would have been absolutely nothing it could do. It would have been game over. End of. That really came down to the wire. It would have been out of cards to draw. Computer 2 would have won, but alas, on the last card that it could draw, it steals victory. Its retribution was finally complete. Computer 1 wins.